Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Well, the new Comet browser has just been released to the general public. I just got a notification about it today. So I wanted to get this video out and give you kind of some first thoughts on the browser itself. Uh, and remember, before this, you had to pay $200 a month to be able to get this browser. I'm on the pro plan and it's out to me. I would imagine that it will be out to everybody eventually. But for right now, let's just do a quick walkthrough. Now, if you remember, not long ago, I uh, did a video on the Dia browser, which integrated AI. And I did a video on that. If you guys want to watch that video, I will leave a link up in the corner over, I think it's over here. I can't remember where the card comes up, but I'll leave a thing up in the corner where you can go watch that video. I love the Dia browser. I have been using it since it came out and it's awesome. So let's just see how the new Comet browser kind of holds up against that. So once you've signed in, you got your account, this is what you what it shows up as. And it looks a lot like the regular perplexity web page. You have the ability to ask a question here, general research. You've got your deep research here and also your labs if you're a pro member. And so it looks very much like the regular interface of perplexity. And it offers you some widgets down here. Let's check out the widgets. There's a few of them in here, not a lot. Top sites that you go to. Um, looks like a way that you can add a widget if you want to add notes for things. And what else do we got? And I don't know, a Zen widget. What's the Zen widget? I don't know. I guess it just sits there. Let's see. What does a Zen widget do? Oh, it just plays, it plays Zenny music for you. <laughs> so if you're just working and you want to have something playing in the background, you can do that. Let's come back to Comet. And across the top, we have the ability to open up multiple tabs. So that's nice. So let's just go to, uh, let's just go, well, let's do like AI 2027. This is that big research paper. Okay, so it's gonna give me the links to the site and it's gonna do a little bit of work on telling me what it's about. So let's actually go to the paper itself. And then here's a really cool thing. Up in the top right-hand corner, you have the ability to open up the assistant. The first assistant is a summary assistant where it says, hey, give me a summary of what this is about. Focus on the key points. And it does a pretty good job of summarizing everything that's on this web page. It's actually, we could probably ask for a deeper summary. What are some of the other things that we can do in here? We can change our mode or we can do a pro search. We can thumbs up or thumbs down. We can copy this information and take it somewhere else. That's nice. That's cool. But we also have a voice option. All right. All right. Do me a favor and summarize this web page and point out what you think are the most interesting conclusions that this paper draws. This page outlines a forecast about the development and impact of superhuman AI by 2027. The authors create a detailed scenario predicting that AI will exceed human intelligence within a few years and have an enormous impact, even greater than the Industrial Revolution. Le okay, let's stop that. I'm not sure what that, that glitching sound that you hear, I don't know if that came across to you, but it's, it's kind of chirping a little bit and crunching. That may be just a bug in the system or it could be a, something that's wrong with my computer, but I don't have any audio problems other than that. So I imagine this is some sort of, some sort of scratchy bug that they've got in the system itself. So we can start a new thread if we want to. We can, what's this, go to our library and see all the other stuff that we've done. And we can open this in a new tab or we can open a new tab. Okay, cool, awesome. So I, this is a this looks a lot like exactly what the Dia browser is. It's just using Perplexity's AI instead of I think Dia is using a, a version of OpenAI. So this is just running off Perplexity. And if you're like me, I do a ton of stuff in Perplexity. I spend a lot of time in this Discover tab. If we come back and we just open up a new tab here, let's get rid of our assistant and. I come over here to the sidebar. I spend a lot of time in the Discover tab. I love the fact that it feeds me the new stuff that's interesting to me, gives me a brief overview of what's going on for the day. And so Perplexity has a lot of information about what I search for, what I like. 
And knowing now that I have a browser that integrates with Perplexity is really powerful tool. I also use deep research, deep research a lot inside of Perplexity. And so knowing that we now have that ability to do inside of a browser, I think is going to be really cool. I think, again, I just wanted this to be a short video to kind of walk you through some of the things that you can do with it. I'd go and play with it. If you're used another AI browser, I think you'll find that this is similar. But if you're not integrating at this point your AI with your browser, I think you're, you're really doing yourself a disservice because there are so many great things that the the I guess the co the collaboration between artificial intelligence and a traditional browser give you and I got a feeling just knowing how much I use perplexity that I'm probably going to end up switching over to this browser but I'll let you know in a future video and if you like this one don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and that bell icon so that you never miss a video that I put out I have a brand new series coming out on how to build your first AI agent it's it's designed specifically for beginners so if you have no previous understanding about how how AI agents work or how you go about designing one for yourself or your business, you're going to want to check that out. And that's coming out real soon. So make sure that you're subscribed. And for the rest of you, thanks so much for watching this video. I'll talk to you soon.